Hello, this is Mrs. Russo with 4D, going to tell you about Chapter 1, Lesson 5, Rename Numbers. So today we worked on taking the number 280 and renaming. Today we did go over the fact that the prefix re means again. And so we are going to name the numbers again. So we're used to calling this number below 280. So today we were give, I gave the students base 10 blocks and they were to show me the value of 280 using base 10 blocks. Well, the first thing they did was they grabbed a 100 flat, another 100 flat to represent the 200s. And then they gave me eight 10 rods. After that, we talked about what's another name for the number. Well, how many tens are there in this number? Then we talked about how each flat, 100 flat, actually has 10 tens in each. So we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. This number, named again, is 28 tens. We also discussed how we did not add or take away any of the number, we just found another name to represent that value. Another way that you we're progressing to is to use a place value chart. So I'm going to write my place value chart 280. Well, as you can see here, it says 28 tenths. Now when I ask of what the value of the tens are, kids will say 8. But we're talking about renaming the numbers. So we have 28 tens. The next thing that we can talk about, another name we can, is to give the value of each number individually. I have two hundreds and eight tens. We discussed, does it still represent the value of our original number? two hundreds and eight tenths. The answer to that is yes. The next strategy with renaming numbers is if we're given a different name that we're not used to, like seventeen tenths. Well, I said to represent seventeen tenths. Well, they can know that a hundred flat is ten tenths, and then they would need seven additional ten rods. So another way to say this would be a hundred and seventy ones and then 100 and 7 tenths. So it's all about them being able to use the three different ways they can rename numbers and interchange them easily. Another strategy is to use the place value chart. So I'm going to write 17 tenths. They can notice that the ones has zero in it. So we could have 170 ones. I was originally given 17 tens. And then now let's name the value of each number individually. I have 100 and 7 tens. We are going to build up to numbers such as 706 hundreds. So we need to make sure that when we read this it says 706 hundreds. Well, another name for that is to give how many ones there are. 70,600. Now, name the numbers individually. I have seven ten thousands and six hundreds. And another problem to go over is 4,700s. So they would need to know they have a 4 in the thousands place and 700s. Well, then they can apply the 0 to find how many 1s they have total. Then they can kind of get rid of the zeros and see they have 4700s. The reason that we're learning this skill is for them to have a deeper understanding of place value and what numbers represent and what the value of those are. It actually, this skill becomes helpful when we start to get into multi-digit multiplication. If you have any questions, please contact your classroom teacher, and thank you for watching.